Right now, all new at six, how to outfox those pesky mosquitoes. An FIU scientist is on a groundbreaking effort using genetics and microbes to ward off the disease-carrying skeeters. As CBS 4's Hank Tester reports, that's good news for South Florida tourism officials still feeling the sting of the Zika episode several years ago. Man's battle with the mosquito through the years, spray them, swat them. Who can forget South Florida's economic disaster caused by mosquitoes spreading Zika? If we can change the way that we smell, then we can block them from finding us. We can repel them. Dr. Matthew DeGenero is the director of FIU's Laboratory of Tropical Genetics. Using genetics, he figured out how a mosquito's unique gene is responsible for the mosquito's keen sense of smell, guides them right to human hosts. Some people are more attracted to mosquitoes than others. What we're going to do is try to figure out why. And we think that the, the differences are in their skin microbes and in the odors that they produce. The United States Defense Advanced Research Project Agency has awarded a contract for up to $15 million to scientists and researchers from Florida International University and three biotech, pharmaceutical, and dermatology companies to develop a product to protect U.S. military from mosquito-borne diseases. The research will eventually benefit the civilian sector. We want it to last for at least two weeks it will both reduce some of the odors that we produce that are attractive to mosquitoes, and it will also re produce repellent odors that will help keep mosquitoes away. The four-year project's plan is to harness the microbes found on the human skin to create a live, easily applied biotherapeutic product that can block human chemical signals that attract mosquitoes while also repelling the insects. We are going to be starting our human study in the spring. We are designing the microbe and we are uh, moving forward on development. The FIU doctor says continue to use those DEET-based products. They're great for right now until that new product comes out. I'm Hank Tester, CBS4 News.